inside covered ICU ward full of young victims, as doctor warns no one is immune. The mirror took a glimpse into the eye of the COVID-19 storm as it visited the intensive care unit, ICU, in Wolverhampton's New Cross Hospital to see how frontline workers are coping. Young men either side of us lie unconscious, their mouths gaping wide, as an army of medics in blue overalls say quick hellos to each other as they dash by. Despite the deadly unseen menace that stalks this corridor, the heroes staffing it are learning fast how to save more lives. The mirror visited an intensive care unit in the eye of the storm and heard how it is going to get worse before it gets better. For some reason I was expecting shouting and some degree of panic, but what we saw was calm, quiet determination. The team even find moments to share a joke and gentle laughter breaks out. We stand in the hallway that separates the three areas of the intensive care unit at Wolverhampton's New Cross Hospital. Floor-to-ceiling glass walls have been installed to split the previously open plan ICU for COVID and non-COVID patients. Now all patients here have the deadly coronavirus. Better ways of managing patients cannot hide the fact however that many more young people are being admitted and this time no one is immune. They are definitely getting younger, ICU nurse Suki Data, aged 29, explains. At the beginning of this pandemic they were at least in their 60s and 70s. Now they are in the 30s, 40s and 50s. We are seeing that no one is immune this time around. People say this is what you were trained for, but we were never trained for a global pandemic. When you are treating patients in here with this virus who are in their 30s, not far from my age, we are not used to this. When they realize the severity of their situation they are shocked. Infection rates may finally have started to level off in the southeast but are still rising in the northwest and midlands. New Cross has around 700 beds and 324 of them are occupied by patients with COVID-19. It has around 30 new people admitted with the virus every day and is not expecting a peak until at least the end of January. Many more younger people getting infected than during the first wave, so those needing hospital treatment has also shot up. But when it comes to deaths the under 60s make up 5.9% during the winter wave, down from 8.7% in the spring. We hear that the man to our right in his 30s is incredibly sick, hooked up to ventilator and dialysis machines. His mouth hangs open to one side to allow in the pipe carrying oxygen supplies that is for now keeping him alive. Others in this same comatose state lie face down on their fronts having been moved, or proned, to allow more oxygen in. A bell rings and a runner in the corridor strides past to deliver medicine to one of the fully kit up nurses in one of the three glass ICU sections. Once in full PPE then kit is not removed for at least two hours as constantly removing items is an infection risk. Deputy Chief Medical Officer Dr. Brian McCaig acknowledges that once they step through the glass it is intense, hot, and difficult to communicate. He said, there are not many conditions that can leave a fit 40-year-old in ICU but we're now seeing that COVID is one of them. We're absolutely in the eye of the storm and it is probably going to get worse before it gets better. What steam are leasing at the moment is we are in lockdown and everyone is coming in saying the roads are as busy as before lockdown. We can see the impact of this in our patients and our staff. We are really creaking. The only time we get a bit of capacity is when two or three patients die at the same time, he said. We can only hope that people stay home and take up the vaccine when it is offered. Those are the only things that will get us out of this situation. The people running our most precious public service are not superhuman and many are struggling. Amid all the death they see every day it was heartening to see how important it was for them to find the odd moment to laugh. Someone even mentioned the word banter. Suki said, it's heartwarming when you see someone make it, because we are seeing so many patients who don't. We usually stand by the door and clap them out. Some people probably think we're mad stopping to do that, but it makes it all worth it.